Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our brand new series on Python programming. Whether you're brand new to coding or looking to add another language to your skill set, you're in the right place. Over the course of the series, I'll guide you through the essentials of Python, from variables to loops to functions, and by the end, you'll have the foundation you need to dive into any field where Python shines, be it web development, data science, AI, and more. Now, I've been a Python developer for over 10 years. I still remember being 10, 11, running my first Python script, a simple hello world, and being thrilled at the potential. Today, Python is a key player in various areas, whether it's developing games, scraping web data, or conducting data analysis, thanks to its vast array of handy modules. Now, let's dive right in. The first thing you'll need is a code editor. While there are many out there, from VS Code to PyCharm, for this series, we're gonna be using an online code editor called REPL. The domain is called REPL.IT, and it's free and great for beginners, so it requires no installation. The best part is you can access this on a laptop or a mobile device. Head over to REPL.IT in your web browser. You'll need to create a free account if you don't have one. Sign up with Google, sign up with GitHub, but once you're logged in, click the plus new REPL button. You can create a REPL, i.e. a code editor, in a bunch of programming languages, Python, Java, C, etc. But this entire course will be working with Python. So go ahead and select Python 3. The workspace will load up. On the left, you'll see a file tree. On the right, there's an editor and a console. The editor is where you'll write your Python code. And the console is where you'll see your code's output when you run it. Python files end in .py, so you can recognize them easily. Now, let's write your first Python script. In the editor, type in print, and then in parentheses, and then quotation marks, hello world. This line of code uses Python's built-in print function to output whatever is between the parentheses. Here, it will output the string hello world. To run the script, hit the run button at the top. You'll see hello world printed in the console on the right, you can also run your code by pressing command slash control plus enter as a shortcut. Congrats, you've just written and run your first Python program. Before we wrap up, I also wanna to touch base on Python comments. Throughout this series, you'll see a lot of sentences where the text is preceded by a hashtag or a pound sign. That is a comment in Python. Python ignores comments, so they don't affect your code's functionality. They're an excellent tool for adding notes or temporarily disabling a piece of code. Here's how it works. Go back to your editor and add a new line. Hashtag, this is a comment. Then run your code again. You'll see that nothing changes in the output because Python ignores the comment line. Sweet, that's it for this introduction video. We've set up your Python coding environment on REPL, explained Python files, written your first ever Python program and touched on Python comments. In the upcoming videos, we'll dive deeper into Python and explore its exciting features. Thanks so much for listening guys, and I'll see you in the next video.